From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather in today's top stories. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Happy Friday to you. It's almost time for us to slide into the weekend. Hopefully you've got some big exciting things planned. Overall, the weekend not looking too bad as far as the weather is concerned. For today, we will keep things on the cold side. Thanks to last night's cold front, those temperatures will be falling. In fact, down to around 30 degrees by the late afternoon. You won't have to worry about too much snow out there. Maybe a stray flurry or two, but that's going to be about it. Chilly and breezy for your afternoon. Have a good one, Terrence. Let's take a look at your top stories now, starting with new information in a homicide investigation in Cleveland. This is our first look at the suspect, 26-year-old Deontay Campbell. Police say he beat 57-year-old Marsha Carroll on East 79th Street earlier this month. She died Wednesday. A Portage County sergeant is recovering from severe burns. The sheriff's office says a man threw flammable liquid on him and then set him on fire. Officials just identified the sergeant, Jim Acklin. They say Sergeant Acklin was serving a felony warrant in Richtown Township when this happened. He's being treated at a hospital in Akron. The suspect is in custody. University Hospital fertility patients now have another year to decide what they want to do about the loss of their eggs and embryos. A judge granted the extension yesterday. Patients can decide to resume treatments at the clinic, settle out of court, or pursue a lawsuit. More than 9,000 patients lost their eggs and embryos when a storage tank freezer malfunctioned just last June. Make sure to check back here later tonight for another update and download the News 5 app for breaking news and alerts. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.